in this video we are going to learn some terms used in statistics let's start with statistics itself this is the collection of data for tabulation analysis interpretation and representation on ordered and ordered sets of numbers on ordered list are simply raw unprocessed data this is on ordered sets of numbers this set of numbers need to be rearranged in order before analysis putting a number in ascending order makes it an ordered set population and sample in statistics population simply means what you are trying to consider for analysis while sample is simply a subset of the population this is simply taking few elements out of your initial considerations for example population can be the collection of all the cars owned by a university while sample can include only the cars owned by civil engineering department only another example is consider any city in the world that becomes your population for the statistics while the sample can be statistically analyzing the quality of care for old people in that city sample is simply a subset of a population data as pronounced by americans or data as pronounced by uk simply means raw information from which statistics are created have you ever filled a form like this or like this or an online form like this then you have filled out some data data can be quantitative that is when it's numerical example the size of your shoes the height weight or qualitative when it is non-numeric example the color of your eyes the type of food you ate if you collected the data yourself it is called primary data but if you're using the data collected by other sources it is called secondary data central tendency this deals with mean which is the average of a set of values also median which is the middle number in a set of values also mode which is the number that appears most frequently in a given set when the mode is 2 it's called bimodal and when we have more than two modes it is called multimodal at times mode might not occur in a given set dispersion dispersion deals with range variance and these formulas is for ungrouped data for grouped data the variance formula is this standard deviation is simply the square root of the variance and it shows how far each consideration is away from the mean considering an exam score the standard deviation shows how far away each student grade is away from the average that is how spread out the exam grades are the z score formula it's simply the difference between the score and the mean over the standard deviation frequency distribution is simply a table that displays the frequency of various outcomes in a sample for example this is the systolic blood pressure of 1212 patients collected in a clinic and these are the qualifications of applicants collected during a job application when the considered population is too large then 
they are grouped into class intervals before analysis. Cumulative frequency curve shows cumulative frequencies. The points are joined so that the polygon looks like a long S. Quartiles. Quartiles divides the collected data into quarters. The middle quartile is the same as median. For ungrouped data, this formula can be very helpful and this can help for grouped data or it can be determined from a cumulative frequency polygon. This is statistics. Other statistical terms and calculations will come in many other videos. Next topic will be the difference between ungrouped data and grouped data. I will see you in the next video.